guys, it's Jordan, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting kind of sick, which is why I sound like this. But, <coughs> before I start off, don't worry, I'm not going gloss. I just have awesome lipstick on because I just made it. And I literally just got obsessed with making lipsticks right now. All of these lipsticks that I just made, along with these two in the little tubes. And you guys probably know, but I posted a video about... One and a half years ago, it was when my new YouTube channel was pretty new, on how to make lipstick from crayons. And it has like already almost a million views, which is really, really crazy. And that video, I don't recommend to go watch it because I'm so awkward in front of the camera. And it's just like, what, what became of me? Yeah, so I decided to redo it today and make the recipe a little bit more simpler. And now that I have some editing experience, I can edit a voiceover over it at least. So I'm going to be showing you how to make lipstick from crayons today, which is really cool because all you really need is a box of crayons and stuff that you probably already have in your house. And then you can also use an old lipstick tube if you have one. But if you don't, stay tuned because at the end of the video I will show you how to make one of these and this is basically just like a homemade lipstick tube where basically it has a little cap like this and you can see the lipsticks in here and you can just from the bottom, looks like this, from the bottom you just push it up and it comes up and you can put it on your lips. Then you can just put the cap back on and it's good to store and it's really cool because you can just make it out of duct tape and use any colors you want. Yeah, and the awesome thing about this is that there's so many colors in a pack, you can literally do any colors. Like I made black and blue and like awesome colors. But yeah, so let's just get started. So to melt all the ingredients, I'm using this chocolate melter, but you could also use a double boiler if you don't have that, and you can check out my old video to find out how to do that, and that'll be linked in the description. And first, I'm just taking my crayon, and I chose purple, and I'm just going to be taking off the wrapper. Then I'm just breaking the crayon and putting it inside. Next, I'm adding one half of a teaspoon of olive oil, and then a half of a teaspoon of petroleum jelly. Then I'm adding a little bit of honey and a few drops of a scent or essential oil and I just chose mint. And then I'm just mixing that up. And you can add eyeshadow if you want to, if you want it to be a little bit more pigmented. So I just chose this really deep blue color. Then when it's all melted together and turns into a liquid, you can just carefully pour it into your little tube that you made. This pot helps because it has a little lip at the end so you can pour it easily. Then I just went and stored that in the freezer so that it would cool quickly. You could also put it in the fridge and you probably don't need to keep it in there for longer than 10 minutes. Then as you can see after I pushed it up usually it dries with a little hole kind of thing in the middle so I'm just kind of rubbing it off onto a paper towel until it gets a lot smoother. Then I just applied it onto my lips and this is how it looks. And I poured a few of them into little lipstick containers and yeah, this is me just trying them all on and you can see how they all look and some of them turned out more vibrant than others. But if you stay tuned to the end, I will show you a really cool trick on how to turn any sheer lipstick vibrant. So it's super simple to make lipstick and now I'll show you how to make the containers. Okay, so all you're going to need for this is some duct tape and a thick pen and then a little bit of a thinner pen. Then I'm just ripping a small piece of duct tape and wrapping it around the smaller pen or the skinnier pen and making sure that the sticky side is facing up. Then I'm just cutting off the end and getting a little bit of a bigger piece of duct tape and wrapping that around the same thing but this time the sticky side down. Then I'm just going to be sticking the two sides of the duct tape together at the end and then cutting that in part off and cutting the top part off so it's a clean cut edge. Then I'm also taking a very small piece of duct tape and I'm just kind of folding that on the bottom part of the little tube just so that the lipstick doesn't leak when you pour it in wet. So that is how you complete the first tube part. Now for the lid, I'm just taking another piece of duct tape and ripping off the top strip and then wrapping it around my larger pen. Then I'm taking a second piece of duct tape but not cutting it and doing basically the same exact thing that I did on the other one and just cutting off the two ends and then they fit perfectly together and work as a perfect alternative. The really cool thing about these is that you can layer them on and make them 
like really vibrant or you can just put like one coat on it and make it kind of sheer it's really up to you and also it depends on the amount of pigments are that are in the crayons because um, a lot of the darker colors tend to have more pigments than the lighter colors such as the black but a lot of the other ones just come on really sheer if you want your lipstick to become more sheer you're going to want to put a little bit more vaseline or a little bit more oil in it and it just will kind of dilute the pigment a little bit more but if you want it to be more pigmented you can add as much pigments or as much eyeshadow as you want and sometimes even after that they end up sheer just because of the way the crayon was or just certain things just end up sheer anyways but I will show you a really cool easy trick to make the color a lot more vibrant even if your lipstick is sheer so I have this orange lipstick right here and I'll just show you how it looks with one layer but if I want it more vibrant, a cool trick that I figured out is I just have this translucent powder. I'm just going to be taking it on my brush. I'm just going to be putting it like right on my lips. Just try not to taste it because it tastes really gross. You also could just leave it like this and it becomes a matte lipstick. As you can see, it's not shiny or anything anymore, which is really cool, and you can just leave it and it stays matte. Or if you want it to be more vibrant, you just apply the color again. And as you can see, it became a lot more vibrant, and you can do this however many times you want. So as you can see, this trick actually works. But yeah, so that's the end of this video, and I had so much fun making it and making all these lipsticks. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new DIY videos every Tuesday for How To Tuesday, and I will see you all later. Bye! Hey guys, I post a new DIY video every Tuesday, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And if you want to see my latest video, then click this green box. Hope to see you soon!